This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. It looked pretty apocalyptic. Hazy skies across a smoke-filled northern Nevada. How you can stay safe in this poor air quality. Tops Channel 2 News at 530. And of course, the air quality index in Reno Sparks is currently unhealthy for sensitive groups. I'm Landon Miller. And I'm Kristen Remington. Thanks for keeping it here with us tonight. While that's a slight improvement from yesterday's unhealthy for everyone ranking, Remza urges everyone to still be vigilant about prolonged exposure. We have team coverage of these hazy skies out there. Chief Meteorologist Mike Aldridge in the Weather Center with a look at uh, the conditions and if they'll be improving anytime soon. But we're going to start with Elizabeth Olveta, who is up near North McCarran Boulevard. And Liz Rems has actually been busier this month because of the air quality. Yeah, Landon, they tell me that their calls for respiratory related illnesses have increased significantly this month compared to previous years. Officials tell me that the at risk populations should continue to take precautions before walking outside until all of this smoke in the air clears for good. A cake kayak. He's showing off a pretty nice catch from a fishing adventure with the United Cerebral Palsy of Nevada. We try to get out at least once a week. But the outdoor adventures haven't been as frequent lately. Because of this air quality issue, uh, we're not getting out as often as we were before. The slightly improved air quality today made the trip possible, albeit short. We do limit it when the weather is this bad. Northern Nevada is still feeling the effects of West Coast wildfires. We really haven't seen this type of increase in the number of patients with breathing problems since around 2013. Remza says those calls increased about 25 percent this July alone. Almost about 100 more calls. Besides more serious respiratory issues, other symptoms can be more of a nuisance. Headache, dizziness, sometimes nausea, runny nose, itchy eyes, sore or irritated throat. When the air is unhealthy for sensitive groups. Pregnant, um, ch infants and children, elderly, and then those that have respiratory disease. Remain indoors, keep your windows doors shut, keep your air conditioner on. If you absolutely have to be outside, take frequent breaks indoors when possible. Remza says for short periods of time outdoors, masks may help for some. Uh, this may be appropriate. But it's important uh, to make sure they're the right kind. The surgical mask not recommended for times like this. To filter out smaller harmful particles, a P100 mask is suitable. Like one you can find at Reno Paint Mart. It's good for people that have like asthma and heart issues. The business stays well stocked with them. Last summer, they even gave up the supply to distribute to residents across California. So that they could have the protection they needed. Because there were shortages, a lot of shortages. Now, Remza says while coughing, sneezing, and wheezing can be a pretty normal result from this poor air quality, you should still call 911 immediately if you experience trouble breathing or you have chest pains. Covering the big story live, Elizabeth Olveda, Channel 2 News. Good information, Liz.